Last couple prossimo, druzi moi. Last week was all about the fantastic texture painting tool, which is built into Blender as an add-on, Utu Paint. In that tutorial, I used several texture brushes, which I had set up myself. And I had a question from a certain 70 Watt. Hello, 70 Watt, if you're watching, about how I did that. How did I set those brushes up? Bit busy with a job this week, but I think I just about have time for a real quick tutorial this week. So here goes. Rodimo. Once you're in texture paint mode, you'll see this brush asset library at the bottom of your layout. Or you can go the traditional route and click at the top left to open the brush menu. I'm after the default painting brush, this paint hard brush. I'm going to hover over that, right click, duplicate. And this menu will pop up where you can name it. I'm going to call this star one. Now in the tool settings, we can see that I've now got that brush selected. That's over in the properties menu. Look there, you can see star one. I'm going to scroll down to the texture section of these brush settings, click new, and then click this little button to open the texture settings. Now I want to import a texture, so I'll click open and navigate to the one I want. Then I want to make sure I'm only using the alpha channel, so switch to non-color. And then I need to make sure that Blender will only paint the white portion of this image. So under alpha, make sure alpha is uh, checked on, and then this subsetting calculate alpha, and that will just make sure that any black parts are transparent in my texture. And then switch back to the tool settings. And here it's handy to set a preview image. So click this little drop down on the right here and I want this edit preview image option. And I'm gonna navigate back to that same image in fact. Now, I don't want to paint as I would with an ordinary brush, you know, just dip your brush in the paint and smear it across the surface. I want to use this particular brush as a sort of a stamp instead. And the way that I set that up, as I mentioned in the last video, is up in the stroke settings across the top of your viewport. I will switch from the default space to anchored. Let's try anchored. Finally, I'll just make sure I haven't got symmetry switched on down in the tool settings at the very bottom. Okay, so now when I click and drag, I can set the scale and the rotation of my brush. Actually, better yet in this case, because I want this to be quite graphic and quite controlled, I could use drag dot under my stroke settings and that will enable me to place this star graphic really quite precisely. Of course, F to set the size. I can also change the rotation if I like um, before I even draw anything. And I would use the Control F shortcut, get a little preview and I can drag my mouse to change the angle. I'll escape out of that because I do want it to be at this angle. Okay, so there you have it. I can make a really fairly precise sort of stencil stamp image, but you may find that you want to change the fall off of your brush. I don't know if you can see, but the tips of this star are looking a little bit faded. There's a bit of fall off going on there, and I want this graphic to stay sharp right to the tips, right to the points of the star. So I'll just undo that last stroke and I'm going to change the fall off to constant up at the top there. Try that again. 
Okay, that's more what I'm after. Of course, if you were using one of the grunge brushes such as I used last week, I'll just show you one of those. Now here, I wouldn't necessarily want a sharp fall off. I wouldn't particularly need to have a sharp image all the way to the edge of my brush. So I would probably stick that to soft under the fall off options or softer. Okay, so if you're watching 70 Watt, hope that was useful. As ever, thanks for watching and do zustrici! 3D From Zero makes tutorials and tips about 3D software. If you're into 3D or you'd like to be, check out my free course on 3dfromzero.com and there are some paid courses there too. Thanks for watching.